All right, all right. Shalom, shalom, everybody. Back again, once again, with your brew. <laughs> Bon Shemayim. I'm here with another one. So today's video, <clears throat> today we actually going to do one of the ones, one of the ones that we're going to go into the law a little bit, right? So today's video, we're going to watch uh, A Gathering of Christ, one of their short videos. It's the benefit of being under the code of the laws of the Most High. And uh, I'm going to react to it. And we're going to go into a scripture uh, of the law. We're going to go into the law. So today it's going to be one of the shorter videos. God willing, we'll see. <laughs> but it's definitely going to be about the law. All right. So without further ado, let's get it. And that's one thing I can respect. Uh, you know, even about Jewish people or whatever the case is. Their connections are those they grew up with and who they know who are operating with them in synagogues or family members. People are vetted. And even amongst them, if somebody if somebody break code, they be like, nah, I'm not even going to deal with you. I can respect that. We're the only people running around here just allowing strangers to come in, not vetted. You know why? Because we were told that that was okay. I lived in other countries. It's not okay. I don't care how much money you, you have. Let a black man go over Egypt right now and try to set up a shop and try to set up a business and see what happens. It wasn't until I traveled that I realized that they allowed, that our people allow anything without vetting. They say, well, no, you can't set up a business over here unless you have a citizen of our country in partnership with you. This guy can be broke as a joke without any experience, no education. But if you make money, automatically some citizen or somebody on the block is going to make money with you. That's actually a great idea it's a shame we don't uh control our laws so we can't make that an actual like state law but or a country law but that's actually i mean if other countries are doing that uh, that's actually smart for sure let's keep going let's keep going well you cannot set up a business and then what they'll do is they'll learn what you're doing mm -hmm. and then they will go in business with another egyptian or another person and set up the same shop right next door to you. And you know what? The people of his country, his citizen, his citizenry, who is his family will not patronize your business. Mm -hmm. I've seen it. That's smart. That's actually smart. Now with that, something we could do without a law. We cannot go in, in, uh, we could choose not to, uh, to, uh, to shop at other people's businesses, not to support other other nations' businesses. Uh, we can definitely do that. Matter of fact, if y'all want some shirts, I'm I got a cousin uh, working on some shirts for me. So hopefully he'll get that done and uh, it'll look nice. It should have the fringes and be uh, Levitical. I'll say being all one. Um, all one type of clothing, but I'll let y'all know when I get those, uh, when I get the ones he gonna make for me and show y'all, see if y'all like it. Let's keep going. They will steal your business and then tell you, hey, that's just the way it is. They'll steal your ideas. You know why they can do it? Because they all, when that, when that music comes on five times a day, they're all looking at the ground and, and doing this together. That's why. That's why they can do that because they have a core belief system together. Only our people are like this, folks. And I'm telling you, the law is the answer. Hmm. Because now we can we can vet you spiritually first. Elder Lloyd, you got something? Oh, no, sir. I agree. You use the law to vet people spiritually, even our own. Even our own. Let's get it. See, I'm, 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 I'm tired of just sitting there pointing fingers and talking about what's all bad and people doing this to us and people doing that to us when the Most High is saying, well, listen, why don't y'all just get on code and it'll stop everything? Mm -hmm. 
Hmm. Why don't y'all just get on code? They can't stop us from getting on code with one another. They can't stop us from us getting together and saying, you know what? Here's the name of God. We're all going to call that name of God together. Con, con, con. And on that note, man, one, two, three, J, one, two, three, J, man. Uh, email me because I tried to email the people I previously had the emails and, and contacted. But for whatever reason, I hadn't got the spot a uh, response yet, or or whatever the case is. But if you out there, brother, email me so we could talk about what we was talking about in the live stream. All right, let's keep it going. Anybody else? We must vet them spiritually first. What church did you go to? What mosque did you go to? What country did you come from? You cannot do business amongst us serving another god. A matter of fact. That's right. Any money you have, you must invest in what we're doing first and we'll think about giving you a piece for being here. Talking about a land of opportunity. No, it's a land of opportunists hmm. who are preying on our people who are, who are the children of Israel and don't know any better. Yeah, it is a land of opportunity. But we're, we're the people, they're getting the opportunity on. Uh. Finish reading. Verse 4. Thou shalt not make... And listen, listen, listen. And another thing. Let me make this clear, though. I'm not talking about anything that we're not already right now ha have practiced and are putting in place. I'm not waiting for nobody to, to all come together on Kumbaya. I'm just letting you know there's a benefit of it. We started GOCC Network. Okay? I'm going to show you what happens when you do that. Hold, hold this other way. One second. Let me, let me go over here real quick. Check that out, y'all. GOCC Network. Yeah, I agree, though. It's time that we <clears throat> start supporting each other. And, uh, I've always been one that, you know, God willing, if I had it, to support the brethren, for sure. I'm not big into fashion and stuff, so I'm definitely not su supporting other people. I'm going to show you what happened when you don't just talk yeah. about it. We at Tabernacles, right? And we got our little camp up all there. We got the vendors things all up. And here's a family who harvests their own bees, honey, from people in the church. Okay, honey. Some of the best honey I've ever tasted. Just, and not only that, it's used in so many medicinal uses. And guess what? This jar was harvested by the hands of the children of God. Hmm. And before I buy any more honey anywhere, this is where I'm going. Auntie B Jelly, Concord Grape Jelly, made by a daughter of Zion. Different flavors right here. And guess what? That's the tip of the iceberg. Natural, natural. So, I, so what we're talking about works. <clears throat> what we're talking about works. I don't got to worry about an East Indian or a, an Asian person praying demons into, into our products and driving our community crazy, not realizing we're under spiritual attack. And that's why I tell you in Second Address that while being idle, eating things sacrificed to idols, you wonder why we're poisoned, diabetes, dying, because who's feeding us? The grocery store, the grocery stores, packaged up, prepackaged food, dipped in chemicals. The grocery store is feeding us. And, and what's so crazy is there's plenty of food on the land around us. There's plenty of land around us. There's plenty of food. There's plenty of land to grow. And there's plenty of natural food that God has put on the land way before any of us was born. I mean, goats, 
cows, wild turkeys, plenty of it. Deer. Let's keep going. That's where the dietary law come in at. See? We're trusting the same people who are replacing and destroying us, not realizing the answer is to get on code according to God's word. Mm. I don't want to hear about no getting on, somebody talking about getting on code, double speaking, but on the other side, they're not talking about the book that was placed here to align us mm. on code with one another. And being black isn't enough. Mm -hmm. That's right. Because they, many usurpers look just like us. Okay? Many usurpers looks just like us who are undermining any progress that we would do as a people. The Bible. All right, all right. All right, that wasn't too long of a video, and uh, we only got <clears throat> one scripture for this particular video. We're going to start off in Leviticus 19. <coughs> we are going to be in the law. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. Sorry about that. We're definitely going to be in the law. We're going to start at uh, Leviticus 19. And let's start at two, right? Or one. We'll start at one. It says, And the Lord spoke, spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the congregation of the children of Israel, and say unto them, Ye shall be holy, for I, the Lord your God, am holy. Ye shall fear every man his mother and his father, and keep my Sabbath. I am the Lord your God. Turn ye not unto idols, nor make to yourselves molten gods. I am the Lord your God. So no idols, insufficient, worthless things that we created. Molten God, covering gods, right? So covering gods and gold. I am the Lord your God. And if ye offer a sacrifice of peace offerings unto the Lord, ye shall offer it at your own will. Right. So a, a peace offering, a sacrifice for alliance or friendship, peace offering. Ye shall offer it at your own will. It shall be eaten the same day ye offer it. And on the morrow, and if aught remain until the third day, it shall be burnt in the fire. And if it be eaten at all on the third day, it, it is abominable. It shall not be accepted. Therefore, everyone that eateth it shall bear his iniquity. Because he has profaned the hallowed thing of the Lord, and that the soul and that soul shall be cut off from among his people, right? So it says, It shall be eaten the same day ye offer it, and on the morrow. So two days. But if aught remain unto the third day, it shall be burnt in the fire, right? None of it shall be eaten on the third day. No leftovers to the third day, right? It says, and when ye reap the harvest of your land, thou shalt not wholly reap the corners of thy field. Neither shalt thou gather the gleanings of thy harvest. And thou shalt not glean thy vineyard. Neither shalt thou gather every grape of thy vineyard. Thou shalt leave them for the poor and the stranger. I am the Lord your God, right? So it's saying, if you growing... If you have a garden or you're growing or whatever you're bringing in, you shall not just take it all to yourself. A portion has to be left for the poor, right? It says, <clears throat> it says the poor and the stranger, right? It says, ye shall not steal, neither deal falsely, neither lie one to another. And ye shall not swear by my name falsely. Neither shalt thou profane the name of thy God. I am the Lord. Thou shalt not defraud thy neighbor. Right? So let's go over this. It says, ye shall not steal. So we know you can't steal. Neither deal falsely. Right? Deceive, fail. Right? 
deal with somebody falsely, neither lie to one another. And ye shall not swear by my name falsely, right? Neither shall thou profane, right, pierce the name of thy God, right? I am the Lord. So no pro swearing by his name falsely and no profane in the name of God. And who are we to swear by God's name unless we're the ones who perform in the action, right? If it's something we depended on God to do, who are we to swear on God's name for it? Whew. <laughs> it says, thou shalt not defraud thy neighbor, right? To oppress, to wrong, to exhort. Neither rob him the wages that that is hired shall not abide with thee all night into the morning, right? So you cannot take away from his wages that he was hired that he was supposed to pay. So if you offer somebody a contract, you got to stick to the contract and pay him what he deserved to be paid, right? And shall not abide with thee all night into the morning. So you're not supposed to work people overnight. The night night shift shouldn't exist, right? Thou shalt not curse the deaf, right? To be slight, swift, trifling, nor put a stumbling block before the blind, but shalt fear thy God. I am the Lord. I am the Lord, right? It says, ye shall do no unrighteousness in judgment. Thou shalt not respect the person of the poor, nor honor the person of the mighty, but in righteousness shalt thou judge thy neighbor. Thou shalt not go up and down as a talebearer among thy people, right? A talebearer slandering each other. Now, I find that there is so much of that, even though people are becoming uh, stepping into the truth, we still slander in each other constantly. And we need to correct that. Right. It says, and that's the issue that I do unconsciously and I'm working on. And I know that sometimes I could be direct, but I don't be in in means trying to slander somebody or talk down upon them. But in nature, it is we get to joking. But, you know, this evil world taught us that we get to joking and laughing and we'll say something to slander somebody. Right. It says, neither shalt thou stand against the blood of thy neighbor. I am the Lord. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. Right. So to decide, add judge to prove. Right. So this is not talking about just correction as people would like it to see, but to prove it, right? Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor, reprove to your neighbor what is righteous. Prove it to him. Let's use prove. Prove what is right to your neighbor, right? And not suffer sin upon him, right? Thou shalt not avenge. It's one of the things we keep talking about. Take vengeance, right? Nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. So, of course, we're not supposed to do it against the children of God, right? But, but we still do hold grudges, right, against our own people. But it says, Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people, but thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. I am the Lord, right? This is a uh, 1919. Ye shall keep my statutes. Thou shalt not let thy cattle gender with the device, uh, a diverse kind that thou shalt sow thy field in mingled seed. Neither shall a garment mingled of linen and woolen come upon thee. And whosoever lieth carnally, right? So neither shall a garment mingled with linen and woolen, right? So two different type of materials, right? And whosoever lieth carnally with the woman that is a bondmaid betrothed to a husband and not at all redeemed, right? So she hasn't been bought or purchased or paid for. The contract hasn't been done, right? Whoever lieth carnally with the woman who is a bondman, a maidservant. Okay, so she's a maidservant, but she hasn't been contracted to marry anybody, right? So she belongs to somebody, but she's not able to be married to somebody right betrothed to a husband and not all redeemed nor freedom given her she shall be scrooged they shall not be put to death right or 
punishment. So she's going to receive punishment, right? But not to death, right? Because she was not free. And he shall bring his trespass offering unto the Lord, unto the door of the tabernacle of the con congregation, even a ram for the trespass offering. And the priest shall make an atonement for him with the ram of the trespass offering before the Lord for his sin, which he hath done in the sin, which he hath done shall be forgiven him. Right. And we know now we go to Christ with these things. Right. Christ is important because he was our sacrifice. Right. And we shall come into the land and shall have planted all manner of trees for food. Then, then ye shall count the fruit thereof as uncircumcised, right? So you're going out to plant all manners of trees for food. You count the fruit thereof as uncircumcised. So the fruit isn't ready, right? Three years shall it be as uncircumcised unto you. It shall not be eaten of. But the fourth year, all the fruit thereof shall be holy to praise the Lord withal, right? And in the fifth year, ye shall eat of the fruit thereof, that it may yield unto you the increase thereof. I am the Lord your God, right? So it says on three years, it shall be uncircumcised to you, right? The fruit from the trees, it shall not be eaten of. But in the fourth year, all the fruit thereof shall be holy, right? Apartness, sacredness, to praise the Lord, right? With all. And in the fifth year, ye shall eat, right? of the fruit thereof and it that it may yield unto you the increase thereof i am the lord your god you shall not eat anything with blood so no raw rare and i know most of us <laughs> have never liked that even before some brothers knew the truth they didn't like eating raw meat or or unfully not fully cooked meat most of us we like it well done not no medium or medium rare or rare or nothing like that right and ye shall not eat anything with blood neither shall ye use enchantment nor observe times right ye shall not round the corners of your head the corners of your head right heads Notice it says this, ye shall not round the corners, right, corner or sides, corner or sides of your heads, neither shall thou mar the corners of thy beard. Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you, like what we would call a tattoo. I am the Lord. I says, I am the Lord, right? So I have one tattoo. And I should not have got it, but he clearly warns us in the law, ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you, right? 29, do not prostitute thy daughter. And this is something that's directly happened because people don't have control over their children. Their children don't belong to them like they should, right? People have less, feel like they just would rather keep a friendship and don't want to ruin their children's lives then keep their children from doing too much right and some nowadays you got some people who just like look <laughs> they like look they got the bag go get the bag that's a good one they got the bag you know S to their children right but the what the bible say do not prostitute right do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore right to commit fornication or to be a harlot lest the land fall to whoredom and that's what's happening the land is falling to whoredom and the land become full of wickedness he shall keep my sabbath and reverence my sanctuary i am the lord he says regard not them that have familiar spirits right necromancer Ooh. that have familiar spirits neither seek after wizards a familiar spirit, right? To be defiled by them. I am the Lord your God, right? So don't go to witches and sorcerers to find out any information, right? It says, thou shalt rise up before the hoary head and honor the face of the old man and fear thy God. I am the Lord, right? 
thou shalt rise up before the hoary head, right? Before the old age men and honor the face of the old man. So in fear thy God, I am the Lord. So this is about us respecting our elders. And if a stranger so join with thee in your land, ye shall not vex him, right? To oppress, to mistreat, perhaps suppress, right? The stranger, who is the stranger? A sore joiner, right? Somebody who don't belong with y'all. But the stranger that dwelleth with you shall be unto you as one born among you. This is in the law, y'all. This is in the law. With you shall be a, unto you as one born among you, and thou shalt love him as thyself, for ye were strangers in the land of Egypt. I am the Lord your God. Ye shall do no unrighteousness in judgment, in matriarch, right, in garment, in weight, right, or in measure, just balances, just weights, and just ephah, right, a measure of grain, right, food, right, in just hand, right, a measure of liquid. And ye shall have, in, uh, in just hand shall ye have, right, so all of these things shall be good enough for you to, for you right i am the lord your god which brought you out of the land of egypt therefore shall ye observe all my statutes and all my judgments and do them i am the lord right <clears throat> so on that note we gonna end the video right there it's not that long of a video we're gonna just do a sum up to the whole thing i agree the law needs to be implemented in uh I, like I told you, I was going to try to have a video where we go through the law every couple of weeks. And I hope y'all got uh, some of the, the things that I was pointing out about the law and fully comprehended and understand them. I appreciate y'all for uh, watching this video and tuning in and um, gaining this knowledge that's being dropped whenever I do these things. And uh, on that note, if y'all didn't like the video or if you did, if you did like it or if you didn't like it, Hit the uh, like button or the, yeah, hit the like button, uh, drop a comment. Let's discuss this. Let's discuss this. If y'all have better ways or certain things of the law, you want me to go over it, uh, go over the law in, just put it down in the, in the comments and we'll do that in one of the weeks coming forward and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Right. So on that note, I just want to thank you all for watching. That means uh, the water. The water means thank you. Right. Barakatha, which means bless you. And Kaula uh, Ahaya by Shemeshaya. All praises to the name of Ahaya. All praises to the name of the Most High. All praises to the Most High in the name of his son. I'm sorry. I'm, I slaughtered that. <laughs> all praises to the Most High in the name of his son. Kaula Ahaya by Shemeshaya. Right. So on that note, I just want to say Shalom, peaceful greetings to everybody. Thank you all for tuning in and I'm going to catch y'all next time. Peace. <laughs>